How's it going YouTube? Back with another sugar free review. Got an off that I've wanted for a while. The Null Voodoo. Um, always had this on my list, just never could fork out the cash. Not that I couldn't afford it, it's just when you run a channel, I'm just buying a, a Null Voodoo. I don't have any content for the rest of the week, so gotta pick and choose so I have content. Got a few cool stickers. Voodoo. And COA. 1468. I think they made a lot of these so far. And here's the knife. I just love this blade shape, handle design, everything's on point. This was $400, um, and they charge you $8 for shipping too, which makes no sense, but um, $8 for ground shipping, also crazy. Um, this is supposedly made by Riot. Um, doesn't say that on their website that I've seen, so I'm just pointing that out. So not positive. Got a 3.6 inch M390 blade, a modified Warncliffe harpoon. Got a super thin hollow grind, belt satin. 3.6 millimeter blade stock or 0.14. Let's see how it cuts. This was one of my knives I saved up and bought for my birthday. Oh, and gladly it came sharper than the other two. Very nice, super sharp. My relative could barely cut butter. Got an overall length of 8.25 inches, so full size. Compare it to some other knives. Chavez 229 kickstop. It's about the same length. And the MPDC relative. A little bit smaller. Spiderco PM2. Very, very close to the same length in the Kanu Padre. Right in the same ballpark. Got a 4.65 inch handle, 0.54 inches wide, closed width in the pocket from here to here is 1.34 inches. You got T8 on your minimal hardware. Hmm. Didn't even weigh this. A weight of 4.15 ounces. Since it has the handle inserts, um, no weight relief. I do have a milled titanium clip that is non-reversible. Goes in and out of the pocket just fine. Works well. The handle is slightly contoured. Purple haze fat carbon and black washed PVD coated titanium bolsters. Your deployment methods. You got your interesting thumb stud, which isn't something I'm normally into, but this one is just placed so perfectly. I 
Also, reverse flick, of course. You got the hole cut out. Works very well. If you hold this right, it really has a thwack. Let's see. Of course, it's not doing it on camera. Okay, whatever. And this is a bolster lock. Half the frame lock is hidden under the fat carbon, which I prefer over just plain frame, uh, frame lock. It's a lot easier to keep your hand on this side and not mess up the tension. And you do have good access. Look at that chamfering. It's like a diamond texture. Yeah, it's the same on the pivot. I've never seen that. Nice, nice little touch. Does have good action. As you'd expect. I also have a really cool backspacer. I guess it's a bunch of V's. Purple anodized. As you see, they didn't have a whole lot of room for a backspacer, but they made it work. You have a good sharpening tool. And I just love a harpoon. It always gets me. We'll say they did not champ for the edges on it. It's not picking up, but very sharp right here. Not sure why they didn't do that. Dislocks, well that was one of them. One spot on the whole knife that doesn't have rounded edges that it should. Uh, for one, the shipping, like you buy a $400 knife, you shouldn't have to pay for shipping. And if you do, you should pay the right price for shipping. Ground shipping does not cost $8, I know, because I sell a lot of stuff. In fact, uh, Priority mail is 870. So that bugged me. Probably more than it should have. It also took him several days to get it out, which I understand. Busy man. That's okay. The price just kind of bugged me. Um, and the price of the knife, of course. Do I think this is overpriced? Of course I do. Um, it's $400. But. I still really like it. Love the design, so it's what it is. Um, yeah. Also, um, PVD coating for this price should be DLC, um, but Riot or Best Tech does not do DLC. At least not yet. Maybe one day. Yeah, but everything else I really love about the knife. Feels great in hand. Fidget friendly. Of course I love fat carbon as you know. Awesome blade shape. Yeah. That's about all I got for this video. Give me a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.